Cage Junkies. I am Peter and I am here in the presence of Jose Figueroa. Jose, how you doing, brother? Doing great, man. Good to be on uh, your guys' website here. No doubt, no doubt. Sounds good. Um, now, we here at Cage Junkies, we're big fans of MMA. You are the M1155 champion. You got that belt right there to prove it. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about how you, uh, you came up in the MMA game. Where are you from, first of all? I was born in Chicago, Illinois. Pretty much moved to Orlando when I was probably like 13 or 14 years okay, old. So this has been your home? Yeah, this is my home. Orlando's my home. Um, I moved to Longwood, teaching up here at American Top Team in Longwood. Um, trained at American Top Team in Orlando also. Okay. Cross training with the pro fighters over there. Nice. Um, pretty much I, I came up just training, you know, twice a day, trying to get my training in. and. Um, I got a short notice fight for M1 tournament. It mm -hmm. was a America's tournament yes. and um, went ahead and took it. It was like three weeks, wasn't in good shape, won that one. Um, next one was like six weeks later, I hurt my back, had like f four, four weeks of training, Ooh. was our, a decent shape and won, won that. So when I won the tournament, it gave me like an opportunity to fight for the title and uh, I won that, I won that tournament. Now, y'all heard this right. This man has been winning, not even at 100%. So. <laughs> Once you get to that 100% and you can really perform at that, where do you see yourself going? You got the M1, what's next? You know, um, pretty much I'm just trying to go wherever the money's at, you know. Um, just wherever the money's at, where I'm getting paid, wherever it gives me, you know, um, to be able to train, pay me enough to be able to train full time um, and keep me busy and fighting, I'm happy, you know. Speaking of money, um, is this what you do full time? Yeah, this is all I do. All I do is okay. teach. All I do is cheat and train and fight. Okay. That's all I really do right now. So you're living the life. Yeah, yeah, it feels great, man. Living the life right now. That's awesome. Um, so supposed to fight in July. Got injured, uh, mm -hmm. fractured rib. But uh, training or during a training for the fight. Five weeks out, and uh, I was supposed to do my first title defense. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm looking towards October 14th for my uh, title defense. Though we're, we're trying to get that in the works. You don't Show have time. No opponent yet. Um, the opponent will be Daniel Weichel. Uh, he's like 27 and 7. Oh, yeah. um, German uh, submission specialist and stuff. He's a really good fighter. How do you see the fight going? He's usually he's trying to switch up his style a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. trying to um, work more stand up because he feels like he needs to evolve and he's won a couple of fights doing it. Um, I just don't, you know, the caliber of the guy he fought last time was not really a good stand up guy, so it's hard to tell, you know. Um, okay. I think he's probably going to try to keep it standing. Maybe work a little more takedowns than he did just because if he has problems with my reach. How would you want to see this fight go? On the feet, on the ground? Um, I would want to just keep it on the feet. Yeah. And um, if I feel like he's getting uncomfortable because I'm putting the pressure on him, maybe look for a takedown. But okay. I'm mostly trying to keep it on the feet. Takedown zero, I'll go for it. Now you're a tall dude. Now what do you walk around at? Usually I try to walk around like 75. I'm probably... Since I've been out for a while, maybe 180, maybe less. No kidding. Yeah. Now, how do you get to that 155? Is it gradual? I mean, it's got to be, right? Yeah, it's kind of somewhat gradual. It's like uh, right now I'm like 10 weeks out. You know, if I'm 180, I got to start eating clean, you know, and, and probably about a week or two I, I could lose, you know, four or five pounds. That kind of the first four or five kind of goes quick because you haven't been training. and haven't. Right. Been, I mean, I've been training just – I actually came off an injury, so got a little bit of weight. Then – Usually walk around at 75, you know, eight weeks out, six weeks out, you know, I'll be good. Get to about 70 the week of by um, eating uh, less meals more times a day. I was going to ask, uh, how does that regimen go? It's dieting, exercise, yeah. obviously. Yep. Now, do you have a science to it? You yeah. Know, okay, it's got to yeah. be. Yeah, because as soon as I get closer to the fight, you know, I'm eating three big meals eight weeks out. Once it gets to about six and five, I start cutting it down to uh, like four to six meals, you know, wow. um, depending where my weight's at. S same amount of food, just splitting it up. Okay. Now, you got, you know, fans come up. How long have you been pro? Probably, I think it'd be, it'd be going up six years. And, um, I think coming up July. So you got a good following already. People yep. love you. You're the champ. Um, do you see yourself, uh, if given the opportunity, in the UFC? Um, yeah, you know, um, like I said, it, it, right now, M1's keeping me really happy, yes. paying me good. Um, look like we got the Showtime deal. Um, so I'm happy with that. I main evented the last one, yep. and you know, um, you know, I, I feel like I still, throughout my injuries and through these years, um, you know, I ripped both pecs, I, I fractured a rib, um, you know, um, back. I got like four herniated discs, so you know, a lot, lot of bad injuries. So I feel like I got like 14 fights right now. I feel like I should have had 24, you know. But uh, so I got a lot to grow. You know, I feel like I'm doing good. You know, I'm 
ha haven't got like a long stretch of not being injured. Okay. Um, I'm still winning, so give me some time, and uh, I feel like I'll, I'll be able to do anything. That's awesome. Now, you have a following already. You have uh, people that, that love you, love what you do. Yes. What do you got to say to those people out there that are just big fans of you? Uh, pretty much, um, uh, expect a uh, well-trained um, professional athlete um, that's going to be able to go five, five-minute rounds okay. um, really hard. I'm starting out 10 weeks out. Um, you know, and always keep it exciting. I, I try to win, but I try to make sure I got a good fight, make make the fans, you know, uh, especially got the belt. You know, you can't mess around. People no. don't want to watch main event coming up and the guy's not doing much. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to look, push the pace. I'm trying to fight the whole no 25 minutes. Now, are there, um, how, do, how do people follow you now? I'm sure you got, you're on the Facebook. Yes, the you can go on uh, Jose Figueroa um, Facebook. You guys can check me out on there. Um, you know, I'm usually there. If you guys ever in, in town, American Top Team Longwood, you can come check out our school, man. We're here. Got the place packed and running great. Man, I cannot wait to see this uh, matchup and you defend this title successfully. Cage Junkies, you know where to find this man. Okay.